Unsophisticated Whiskey. Hi, and welcome back to Unsophisticated Whiskey. I'm Boogie. And I'm T Wizzle. And today we are going to review Calumet Farms 8 Year. Uh, what do we know about Calumet Farms? Uh, well, this is 90 proof, and, and supposedly it's from Barton. Source Barton. Uh, it's, I don't think it's been confirmed yet. I mean, we it's know kind of, it's kind of match build. We know there. the 50 or the, the 50 year old, the 15 year old, the 16 year old is Barton. This is the eight year old. I'm assuming um, it's the same. It's got a mash bill. Yeah, I don't know any of that real. stuff, do you? 74% corn, 18% rye, 8% malted barley. If that's a Barton mash bill, let us know in the comments. Uh, supposedly, this farm has had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Kentucky Derby winners. And the last one resulting in Only 1968. Eight. You suck. So it's been a while. But it's still impressive. doesn't smell bad like Barton it doesn't it might be different and this is the old bottle uh, I actually got this bottle from my buddy from work uh, Brandon Lilly shout out to Brandon thank you so much he took about this much out of it and said I don't like that and he's like I know a guy that will drink that so he gave it to me and uh, I figured we'd review it today and check it out and see what uh, TY thinks I've had maybe one or two pours out of it I have not tasted it 90 proof, 8 years old. I was a little slammer when uh, I had that, so I honestly don't remember tasting it or I, smelling I it. I don't like this bottle very much, so I'm glad they went to the, the other bottle. It reminds me of a clamshell. Yes, it's very odd. Like, I like, like it, the cylinder. It reminds yeah. me of the Lucky 7 bottle, but with weird pointy edges. Which it I, is I kind of sharp, right? I don't like. I mean, it's okay. Do you guys I, want to see me stroke it more? <laughs> okay. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell great. And this is a $50, 50 bottle? Yes, 50 bucks. All right, so we batch content because we have to. And we just did a budget blind. This doesn't smell better than... That blind? I mean, it smells better than the very old Barton, but I don't think it smells better than anything else, really. I'm getting, like, just light caramel notes. Nothing insane. I'm getting some slight rye spice. I mean, it's got 18% rye, right? Little, That's what yeah, it said, 18% rye. A little bit of cinnamon. Rye. There's a tad bit of cinnamon. <clears throat> but I'm digging the caramel on it. But it's, it's weird because, nice. okay, so think back. So if this is Barton, which we all think that Calumet Farms is Barton, that doesn't really smell like Barton. 1792 no. single barrel. I mean, no. they must be putting out different mash bills out of Barton. Maybe. I mean, it's a big old factory that you can't go and tour anymore, supposedly. We should have took that tour while we were there, and we didn't. Yeah. Well, we went to their gift shop, and it was laughable. Yeah, because there's so nothing. So you're, you're not missing anything yeah, by that being small gone. small batch. <laughs> That's it. Well, no, but I mean, everything in there was kind of a joke. They didn't yeah. have any good merch. They had, like, but it I was feel like, like it's a like trailer. like a factory. I feel like the yeah. whole setup is just, like, in the, I don't know. It's just like a factory to me. That's all we were there. Not Palette's bad. better than the nose. Yeah, I agree. But it's the 90 proof is what's wrong with it, though. But it's got a little... Yeah, no, it's not bad for 90 proof, but... If it was 100... It would probably taste people, a little better. They, people would be buying these if it was 100. Right. I don't know if the new ones are 90 proof. Um, maybe they jacked it up a little bit. I'm not sure. It is good, though. I'm getting cinnamon. I'm getting, like, a... Like an Earl Grey or like a black tea note on it. I'm getting a little dry oak on it. I think like that finish is just like drying out my palate. You know what's weird is that it doesn't smell eight years old. It smells a lot think, younger. I'm trying to think of other eight-year-old products, and it's kind of a weird age, age range to try and... 
Yeah, because I feel like after they get past like four to six years old, it usually shoots up to like 10, 12 10. years old. Yeah. There is a nice like black pepper I'm getting on that. Um, that rye's coming through pretty nice. It drinks all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see. If someone gave me a glass of this, I wouldn't be mad. Right. It's pretty good. I have to agree with that. Um, I'm not sure I'd buy it after tasting it. Not for 50 bucks. I wish the proof was higher. I think if it was a little bit higher, I would rather find a Weller full proof for 50 bucks. Or not Weller, I'm sorry. No, I was going to uh, say. It's $17.92. Where are we finding those for I 50 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I would much rather have a $17.92 full proof for I 50 agree. bucks. I agree, yeah. Well, the flavor profile is different. This must be a different mash bill coming know. out of Kelly. I don't know what it is. Um, but I was going to go and say, even at 50 bucks, though, like I said, I probably wouldn't buy one. But I like this more than a lot of the 70 to $80 bottles come out of MGP right now. I mean, it's got more age on it. I mean, it's an eight-year-old... Kentucky bourbon for 50 bucks. I mean, it, that's hard to find nowadays. I would have to agree. <clears throat> um, I just wish your proof point. Yeah. I'm just I'm like, it's I not the like greatest, it's, but it's definitely not the worst either. It's giving a nice finish. I feel like the finish is where it's at with this. I mean, for 90 proof, yeah. It's not bad, dude. It, it's a little bit of a mouth coater, but... I feel like the finish is more complex. You're getting some pepper. You're getting some cinnamon. You're getting a little bit of that caramel. Um, All right, let's get into our ranking skill. All right, well, for the nose... Shoot me off. What do you got for nose? I'm going to give it a four, dude. I don't... I was going to say five, but... I mean, that's fair, too. But like, It's like right there. Out of... I'm going to take this page from public curi curiosity public yeah yeah i'm gonna agree with him i'm gonna go four he talked me into four he's right it's just a little lackluster and for our scale we're trying to be very what do you say uh subjective or accurate or i, I mean, don't know but we're trying five to... five like we said five is good above five is and i just going think it's towards great a little i something. agree i'm with Compared, you. i don't think yeah. it's on par with a good whiskey. I think yeah. it's okay. It's... Four seems good. I'm with yeah. you on that. What do you think for the uh, palate, QI? I Palette for fifty dollars, eight years old, fifty bucks. Eight years old, fifty bucks. I'm gonna give the palette a five. I don't dislike it at all. There's, I'm gonna I go with that as well. I don't dislike anything about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the same exact thing. Five, I think it's middle of the road. Um, it's not great. It's not bad. It's definitely a... For 50 bucks? Yeah, I'm just, not mad at it No, at all. it's just one of those bottles that it is what it is. Yeah. And for finish, what are you going? I'm going to hit the finish with a five as well. I think it's pushing six. It's right there. I think the finish is the best part about this whiskey. But because there's some pepper and some cinnamon, and I think it's... The finish is the most complex part about the whole I agree. Whiskey. I'm going I'm going five. And uh, that would be a lot different if this was a hundred proof. I think it would too, bro. I think it would change the complexity of it yeah. a lot. Kelly um, Matt Farms, if you're watching, we don't want ninety proof bourbon. I'm sorry. I'll tell <laughs> I, I like a lot of hundred proof bourbons now. Ninety is just but a little this, too low. If you think about it, bro, this is like the entry into their Calumet. I mean they I think they have a small batch. I think this is like the first step up from their small batch. And it's like, you're going to jump from an eight year to a 15, 16 year. It's like. They have a 10 year. Do they? Yeah. Oh. I think they have a 10 year now. Okay. I mean, in that note, I think their 15 and their 16 year are both also proofed down too much. Because those are at like, what, 104, 106? Yes. Give us a little more. Yeah. Especially <laughs> at those, those old years. I mean. They're gonna do what they gotta do. That's their product. But I think no, I mean they're making money. They know what bucks. to do. Yeah, I mean for fifty bucks though, somebody who wants to try something that's an eight-year-old whiskey, I think that's their selling point. Yeah, I'm not. Old. I'm not mad at this at all. Um, thank you, Brandon, bro. I mean, I yeah, really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Brandon. I'm glad you don't enjoy 
Kentucky straight bourbon. Decent bourbon. <laughs> But uh, that was our ranking. What was? What do you got? We got. I got a four, a five, and a five. Yep, I have the same. So thing. I'm at fourteen. So, you're at fourteen. Yep. So we got twenty-eight out of a possible sixty. So we're a little below the median of thirty, but it's it is what it is. Like T Y said, I think if the proof, like he said, a hundred, I think it would might break that thirty or be right at thirty. It's just a middle yeah. of the road. It it just needs a little bit more proof. It's got the age, but you can't. You don't get the age because the proof's not there. Right. I agree. <clears throat> We're on Sophisticated Whiskey. Yep. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Yep. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. See you. Making booze reviews doesn't need to be complicated. With a snooty attitude so join to I and Boogie as the whiskey gets evaluated And I promise that they'll always be unsophisticated Unsophisticated whiskey